the answer to these kind of atrocities is prevent, is to prevent these kind of things happening. And you do that by investing, investing in your in your Muslim communities and investing in, in, in the community in general. And that has not been happening uh, enough because most countries were not interested in preventing uh, terrorism because it, you know, it, 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 it was not on the agenda. Now it's back on the agenda again. And it's like we, we go backwards for another 20 years. So something you've been calling for for a while. Just to get some context on this, Europe's imams at the moment, where are they trained and how are they trained? Or do they come from abroad? Uh, it, it's, 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 it's a mix of. Uh, lots of them come from abroad, from different countries, like from Turkey and Morocco. Uh, many of them as well have been uh, grown up here, um, uh, were ra raised up in, in Europe. Uh, so it's, it's quite a mix. I think the majority is, is, is come from abroad or mainly older generations. And how do you define sort of European ideals? Because it looks like what some critics are saying, the EU is trying to moderate Islam into these European ideals. How, how, does, that, how does that work? You know, when you say this, it, it is like uh, uh, saying to something that has come new to your society that you don't understand or that misunderstands you. Uh, as I keep saying that, uh, uh, you, uh, Islam has been in Europe since uh, the 8th century, in Spain starting, and then from the rest of Europe. So there is, there has been a European Islam for more than 1,300 years. It's there, it's written, it's in theory, but in implementation it has been changing. And therefore, we, because of the change of the EU and the countries, we have to invest in those changes and bring these parties together. Reality is that you know politics has been a big influence on these kind of uh, on these kind of statements. You you know you can't only like uh, uh, have a statement today because something happens in France and then you forget it for another five years. We have been seeing uh, Islamophobia. We have been seeing um, uh, uh, all kind of provocations. We have been seeing all kind of right extreme. Uh, 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 sounds in society that do the opposite of trying to bring people together. And that is uh, that, that needs an enormous, enormous investment. And now we hear Mr. Mitchell saying that we, or Mr. Michel saying that, you know, there should be some EU kind of institute. Uh, you know, we said that for more than 20 years ago. I don't see that happening very soon, because as soon as we come into implementation, into practice, we'll uh, be confronted with a lot of restrictions on level of politics, on, on level of uh, political colors, and then we go back uh, backwards again, and then nothing happened. Therefore, I say to the Muslim community, don't wait for that. Don't wait for the AU or, or for some local governments to tell you what you have to do. Start uh, uh, professionalizing your own Muslim communities. Start using the local languages. Start your own uh, uh, Imam formation institutes, uh, and, 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 and with that, uh, uh, reach a most equal a position in society because if we have to wait for governments or for uh, politicians to solve these problems, I don't see that happening very soon.